Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com. We've got Liz Hicks here. Hi. And we're at the Tattered Angels booth. They've got these new color mediums. Is that what they're called? The art mediums. Art mediums. Yeah. She's going to show us really, we're going to get in here and see what the difference is between these different art mediums and how they look differently from, they look different from each other and how they work differently. Okay. Uh, what we're going to start with is our traditional, and that would be our Glimmer Mist. You can see a nice clean bottle here, I won't give you the dirty one. And our Glimmer Mist, what it is, it's a water and dye based product that has a beautiful little glimmer on the bottom. When you shake your Glimmer Mist, what you're going to want to do is just twirl it, wake up that glimmer a little on the bottom, and just twirl it. I recommend not to shake it up and down so that you don't clog your sprayer and you don't create air bubbles that will give you an uneven spray. I'm going to take our Cosmos, oh you know what, I'm going to take our Pashmina. That one's really pretty on camera. I'm just going to go ahead and spray a saturated spray. And I'm going to take a paintbrush and just go ahead and even it out while it dries. And what you'll see here, this is our most translucent medium. It's a watercolor in a bottle with a beautiful, gorgeous glimmer. But you can see that it just um, gives it that nice, gorgeous glimmer. Is that good? Okay. Um, and here too, on our chip tiles, because they're natural medium, you'll see kind of the unevenness of the surface. That'll go ahead and go away after it dries. So the embossing will go ahead and show up. Our next chip tile I'm gonna share with you is our Glimmer Glam. And our Glimmer Glam, and again, these bottles are prototype bottles. We do have the, the uh, actual production bottles on the shelves. We, um, just because of time, we had to really kind of bust through these. So these don't have the paint dauber, but in reality, when you go to buy the product, it'll have a dispersion dauber. So you can use it in mass amounts for big projects, little projects. You can use it as an accent medium, or you can use it for a large project. So it really makes it versatile. I'm going to go ahead and just use a paintbrush for now. And with our Glimmer Glam, our Glimmer Glam will have a it's the next step up in transparency, so it'll be the next step up um, as far as towards opacity. But what we've done is used a glaze formula that actually will go ahead and give you that versatile medium that will work on non-porous surfaces. You can see here it's really, really light, but I'm gonna build it up to be darker. And if you do go ahead and do an, a really light application, it dries immediately. What's cool is that if I did just a light application, it's really matte. If I built it up into a thicker application, it would be more of a gloss. So it's anywhere from a matte medium all the way to a gloss medium. And what's cool when it's in a high gloss, you can go ahead and spray over it with our Glimmer Mist for a resist technique. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this chip tile here. And you can see in our Glimmer Glam, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. What we've done is, and this was, this is my cup of tea. This is just my, I'm like, can we just put a little glitter in there? And, and I, I love, love, love glitter. And I just don't like seeing it on my husband. <laughs> so this became that one thing. I know that Wendy, the owner of Tattered Angels, created Glimmer Mist because of that. She didn't like to have, she didn't like to have um, glitter all over the place. She wanted a clean glitter. So this to me is a true like clean glitter because you have, uh, you have just, it's all contained. It's so and, pretty. Yeah, and our actual glitters, what we do... Hopefully we can see that yeah. in the camera. Well, and if you want to take it home too, you can go ahead and <laughs> show them. <laughs> we, um, what we do with our glitters too is we customize them to be a multifaceted glimmer and glitter. So what we do is you have the glimmer in the product, then you have different color glitters and then you have different size glitters that really create that multifaceted look to where wherever which way you look at it it's going to sparkle at you so now when you said you could then spray the glimmer mist onto this one to get the resist mm -hmm. effect would you wait until this is dry or do it while it's wet um, i would wait if you want a true resist like if you were using our chandelier you can see this has that gorgeous glitter on the bottom if you were using this, which is a clear base with the glitter and a pearl kind of a glimmer, if you see this and you were to put it on, you would go ahead and let that dry in a thick kind of a, uh, application. Uh -huh. And then you can mist over and then that way you're giving it time to dry so it is a 
actual slick surface. Okay. So. All right, we have two more. Our next up in opacity will be our Glimmer Glaze. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean off my brush a little bit real quick, just to get that glitter out because the glitter, um, there we go, it's all nice and out. I don't want the glitter to mix in with my glaze. And I am using the Chianti Glimmer Glaze. Okay, so the last one was the Glam, yes. and this is the Glaze. Yeah, and the Glam that we used was Bordeaux. And this is another step up in opacity. Exactly, in the opacity. This here will have, because the dyes that we used are now mixed with a Glaze formula, what it does is it makes it just, the Glaze makes it so that the layers are more full, as opposed to the Glimmer Mist, it's a little bit more of a broken kind of a layer. This makes it just more saturated. And again, what I want to show you too, just like I said with the glam, with this, if you do that light application, it dries immediately. Oh. And it's still beautiful and glimmery. And what's great too is it's matte. And you can build up from that matte to that gloss depending on what your need is. Perfect. I love the versatility of that, being yeah. able to get two different looks yeah, with the same product. That's our goal, is just to make sure that we offer the most versatile products that actually just build up, you give you the most bang for your buck, and that they really do help encourage crafters to, to use them on a, on a regular basis. So what's the next one? Are there four all together? There's four all together. Glimmer Mist, Glimmer Glam, Glimmer Glaze, and then our chalkboard glimmer mist, which I see here. I'm using our strawberry shortcake. And our strawberry shortcake, if you loved marshmallow, which I know you did, <laughs> um, our marshmallow glimmer mist was in such high demand. We had letters pour in and petitions pour in that you know, basically saying, please don't retire marshmallow because it was a limited edition. So we brought back marshmallow with 11 of its friends, now have a 12 collection chalkboard uh, collection that will go ahead and give crafters now that beautiful medium. People and are going to be so excited about that. I know. They're probably going to be jumping in their seats. Yeah. So with uh, the chalkboard, what that is, it is like a spray paint with a nice little glimmer. And you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and spray, and it's just beautiful. Immediately that glimmer starts to show up, and it just is more full coverage. This is what we consider a semi-opaque. I'm sorry, I can't even let you see. No, it's okay. It's for the camera. <laughs> but I'm just surprised at how opaque it really is. Yeah, and you can't see, but Noelle's like hunching over to try to see it. <laughs> She's like, wait, I want to see. And it is. It's just, you don't even need this much, but I just, I don't know. I guess I'm just so used to spray and loving it. So, but you just see that gorgeous, gorgeous opacity. And you can see the difference between the Glimmer Mist, which both of these are in the spray bottle. The Glimmer Mist, you can still see kind of the white behind. This is full coverage. And if you were to use this on a print, I can show you here on one of these tags, you'd be able to see on the print just how the difference is between wow. the two of them. So yeah, I see it has that opaque look, but you can still see the print underneath it completely. Yeah, exactly. And so here, the Glimmer Mist is a little bit more translucent. I'm going to go ahead and just take my paper towel and pick up that excess moisture <clears throat> and you can just see the difference in opacity between the glimmer mist and the chalkboard glimmer mist so you get a nice gradient between gradient the yeah and all of our products are waterborne they're made to blend well together so if you want your glimmer mist to be a little bit more opaque but not quite as opaque as the chalkboard you can blend some of that in if you want to mix them all together they all blend nicely together so great. Thank you so much, Liz. Thank you. So these are the Tattered Angels products. I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com.